Shit of Heavens here to talk about the rangefinder. Announced just a few days after the Rectalux, SLR Magic's single focus solution shook the market due to their larger visibility and several posts across different photo and video blogs, including the Anamorphic community. Both the Rectalux and the rangefinder and the FM lens work based on the same principle, which is variable strength diopters. And this video won't compare the, the three products, but I am shooting an episode just for the sake of comparison, which will be released later on, so stay tuned. Uh, anyway, I had already used the rangefinder in the Anamorphots 2.0 video, but for this one I'll have the same standards as I use for the Rectolux, which is pairing it with the Koa b &H and having contact size as taking lenses. The rangefinder has a very simple setup with 82mm front threads and 77mm rear threads. It can attach to literally any lens out there. For the Koa, I had to dust off my red stand clamp and that would be the case for most anamorphics since they don't have standard threads. And one of the coolest things of having 77 threads is that you can attach it to spherical glass and override their focus ring with the rangefinder geared and marked focus ring. It's also a super compact adapter that can fit in your pocket when not being used and I did that a number of times, with caps on of course, and that you can take out and put back at any moment without too much of a hassle. So well, why would you take it out then? For the Anamorphites 2.0 test video, I had a number of shots that were locked near infinity, so since I was getting a lot of vignetting, I would just take it off shoot at infinity and then pop it back on for the next rack focus. Instead of seeing this as a negative, I think it's an added bonus that you can get rack focusing whenever you need and when you are shooting near infinity, you get an even clearer frame by removing it. I think it's a good thing. It weighs around 340 grams and it feels pretty solid. Focus ranges from infinity down to 1.1 meter or 3 foot 6. The focus throw is around 270 degrees, which is much better than most lenses out there. One of the issues is it extends good 2 centimeters, almost an inch, from infinity to minimum focus. The rotating front element is also one of the downsides since you can't use variable NDs without getting some funkiness on the shot and it has an uneven resistance being lighter to spin near infinity and getting a little harder at minimum focus. An added bonus is that you can fix your Nikon glass that focuses the wrong way. I mean, I was never able to shoot Nikon because of that and now I think I have a chance. I almost forgot to say the most important thing. What the rangefinder does for anamorphics is turn a double focus lens into a single focus system which is pretty damn awesome. In order for it to do its magic, you have to focus both your taking lens and anamorphic to infinity and add the rangefinder to the front of the anamorphic. As any other SLR Magic product, the rangefinder is widely available at a number of gear selling websites such as B&H, Adorama or even SLR Magic's own page. It goes for $600 and you can hunt around eBay to get cheaper ones. Be careful, some of them have no focus marks though. It took me a little to get used to the rangefinder's filter style and I ended up twisting the Koa's focus ring quite a few times while trying to focus with the rangefinder. After these occasions, I simply taped the Koa and went on to the world test. I feel it a little softer than the Rectolux when combined with the same lenses, especially around the edges. Performance shines at f5.6 but isn't that great at f1.4 or 2.8. I guess you should be ready for this with or without a rangefinder since no anamorphics like stupid fast apertures. So I don't think this is a deal breaker for most shooters out there since not everyone is using full frame and fast lenses and reading fine print at the same time like these tests. As discussed in the previous anamorphic videos, the rangefinder adds a few blue elements to the flare. In the distance they disappear among the Koa's orange flare, but they show up when the light source is closer to the lens. They should blend in pretty well with any other lens that has cooler flares. Pushing for a 2.4 to 1 crop, I could go as wide as 63mm with the Elnicor, getting just slightly black corners. 15mm is way too wide, getting some heavy black edges, plus vignetting is heavier when focusing closer, since the rangefinder extends for good 2cm from infinity to minimum focus. 58mm with the Helios still shows vignetting. If you want a full 3.56 to 1 aspect ratio, 85mm is the widest you can go. 
and still get a little bit of ing in him. Of course, these numbers are all for two times stretch lenses and 1.5 and 1.33 stretch will have different values. Playing with the rangefinder out in the field was a very simple and straightforward experience. I really liked its small size and reduced weight. I even dusted off my photo focus and attached it to the pocket rig for better pulls. I just wish it was sunny outside when we shot to get some flares going on. In practical terms, I didn't feel the difference in resistance while racking focus just when I was playing with it in the lab, also known as my rig. I wish minimum focus could be closer since I still felt the 50 and the 85 too similar in terms of framing. But not having to worry about the focus with the Koa is as amazing as shooting with an Iskorama. Another thing I noticed was a certain softness during the night part of the test, shooting more towards wide open apertures. Sharpening in post helps, but the full frame sensor doesn't forgive, and sometimes I had to zoom in to check if the image was really in focus. you guys but I'm really learning some stuff with these SLR magic videos so thanks a lot for the opportunity SLR magic next week's video is about achromatic diopters so subscribe now to get it as soon as it comes out and this is one of the videos I've wanted to do for a very long time since lots of people ask about SLR magic sacraments but there are no decent or technical answers out there so hopefully this will clear things out. Anyway, head on to the blog for downloads and older reviews and more and more anamorphic stuff. I hope you like that. I mean, you've watched a few minutes of this, so you probably like that. And <laughs> we'll meet again next week. Also, I wish you all to get some lenses from under the Christmas tree. Have a Merry Christmas, guys. Chit out.